this thing I was trying to do, were my intentions good? Were they good intentions? And it doesn't have to be Islamic intentions, but were they pure intentions? Were they trying to achieve something good and open and honestly and all of that? If the answer is yes, that's the first tick. Then the second question I ask myself is that, were my actions correct? Were my actions pure? Were they sincere? Were they done in the right way? So if it's yes to that as well, then my mind goes, okay, you know what? The truth is after that, this is then qadr of Allah in the sense that you did what you could have done in the right way, in a way that's pleasing to Allah. You had the right intention. You basically did everything in your power to do it. Now with that, you tried to achieve something. And even though it looked like it was close and it was going to happen, it didn't happen. And the truth is that it was never going to happen. It was never going to happen. Even though it feels so close, the Qadr of Allah was written way before me and you were created. And the truth is this was never going to happen. And what we should be content with is that what has happened is good for you. And that is better than what you think is good for you. Because that's what it comes down to. When something in our life like Maryam alayhi salam, when she saw, uh, when her mother saw a girl being born, she was like, what? What on earth has happened? I thought this was supposed to be a guy and this was going to be someone who's going to worship Allah and this and this. And she had this, she actually had a low opinion, I think, not of Allah, but of what her child was going to be. She probably thought her child was going to be someone really great and this and that. But her child actually ended up being the greatest or one of the greatest women of all time throughout mm -hmm. all of history. So if you gave her a choice of her plan or Allah's plan, was so much better. So I think this goes back to trusting Allah. As long as you did the right thing, you had the right intentions and everything was there, that's it. You are clear, you are free, you should not be beating yourself up. That's the main thing, you don't beat yourself up. In terms of the situation specifically, I think it's a bit of a technical one because there's a lot of different things involved. What I would do, and maybe what you'll find is that there are things in the actual way you went and communicated you could improve upon. And again, I wouldn't beat myself up about that. I would just improve. So I'd be thinking like, how did I communicate to these guys that my job was there? Could I have, how could I have done that better? How could I have secured my job better first? And basically what I'm saying is learn the lessons from this thing. So you're clear, you did the right thing, you had the right intention. Now, what are the big lessons I can learn from this? One lesson is that people where I work, they probably want to keep me where I am. My ambitions are different to theirs in this. Okay, what can I learn about securing the job? What can I learn about communicating? How could I have dealt with this in a different way? What kind of way could I have dealt with it? Could I have spoken to them? Could I have tried this? Could I have done that? If there are lessons for you to be learned, then you should learn those lessons. You should write down and you should think about it for next time and all that. If there's no lesson to be learned and you just did whatever you possibly could in the best way possible, then Alhamdulillah, just say Alhamdulillah, move on. Da 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 da